Good morning everyone. Welcome to the morning devotion praying through the psalms. Today we are praying Psalm 45. The author of Psalm 45 is not David, rather it belongs to the Korahites, one of the sons of Korah, a Levite. This is a psalm or song meant for a Davidic king's marriage to a princess from Tyre in Phoenicia. Now, Psalm 45 can be divided into two parts. Part 1 could be from verse 1 through 10 where he deals about the psalmist describes the king. In in the part 2 verses from 11 through 18, the psalmist the singer speaks about the talks about the queen, the princess. Now, coming to the first part the psalmist the singer he feels he thinks that god chose him because he is the most handsome man on this earth secondly that he loves justice and hates wrong doing evil things and so he feels that god chose him among all the people on this earth let us now read verse 3 and 8 to confirm this you are the most handsome of men fair speech has graced your lips for god has blessed you forever verse 8 you love justice and hate wrong doing therefore god your god has anointed you with the oil of gladness above your fellow kings so that is where the psalmist the singer feels that he is one of the most handsome men on this earth and that he loves justice he is a fine man and so god chooses him to be the king of this of his kingdom The king who is now chosen by God to rule the kingdom has more responsibilities now. He is now to establish divine law, divine rule where there is peace, joy, truthfulness, justice. These are additional responsibilities that the psalmist now wants this king to really take it ahead. Let us now read verse 5 to confirm this again. In the cause of truth meekness and justice may your right hand show your wondrous deeds and so that's where the psalmist praises rather he wants king to understand all these responsibilities and take this ahead psalm 45 verses from 11 through 18 which is second part the psalmist here describes the princess the queen he describes that the queen from tyre in phoenicia is very beautiful gorgeous very good looking and now she enters the palace at this juncture the psalmist wants the princess to know a few things and that is first of all she has to forget her past she has to leave out her home she has to leave out her past identity and now she that she becomes the member of this kingdom the princess of this kingdom she gets a new identity let us now read those verses 11 through 13 Listen my daughter and understand pay me careful heed listen to me forget your people and your father's house so you need to forget your father your father's house all your people that the king might desire your beauty now he is your lord honor him daughter of tyre then the riches of the people will seek your favor with gifts psalm 45 although this is meant for David King's royal wedding the psalm is now meant for Christ the Messiah who is to come as the king of the universe at his second coming who would come in great glory and power and majesty at the end of the ages now who is the bride we the people all the believers all the people waiting to receive him is his bride when he comes he is the most handsome king in this universe god chose him the father chose him to be the king of the universe secondly he would also establish divine rule divine power divine divine rule justice peace truth will really flow in his kingdom in this psalm we see the princess losing her past identity and getting a new identity she becomes more beautiful now she gets more gorgeous now she becomes more powerful now 
because she enters into this wonderful great and mighty kingdom the same way my friends when christ comes as the prince of the kingdom as the king of the universe at his second coming we the bride we get our new identity we become more powerful because our lord is powerful our king is powerful we share in his might we share in his glory and so we become more beautiful we become more glorious is it not wonderful my friends let us now wait for our messiah with all these thoughts now let's now pray psalm 45 My heart is stirred by a noble theme as I sing an ode to the king My tongue is the pen of a nimble scribe You are the most handsome of men Fair speech has graced your lips For God has blessed you forever. Gird your sword upon your hip, mighty warrior. In splendor and majesty, ride on triumph. In the cause of truth, meekness and justice. May your right hand show your wondrous deeds. Your arrows are sharp. Peoples will cower at your feet. The king's enemies will lose heart. Your throne, O oh God, stands forever. Your royal scepter is scepter for justice. You love justice and hate wrongdoing. Therefore God, your God, has anointed you with the oil of gladness above your fellow kings. With myrrh, aloes, and cassia. Your robes are fragrant. from ivory paneled palaces stringed instruments bring you joy daughters of kings are your lovely wives a princesses arrayed in ophir's gold comes to stand at your right hand Listen my daughter and understand Pay me careful heed Forget your people and your father's house That the king might desire your beauty He is your lord Honor him, daughter of Tyre. Then the richest of the people will seek your favor with gifts. All glorious is the king's daughter as she enters. Her raiment threaded with gold. in embroidered apparel she is led to the king the maids of her train are presented to the king they are led in with glad and joyous acclaim they enter the palace of the king 
the throne of your fathers, your sons will have. You shall make them princes through all the land. I will make your name renowned through all generations. Thus nations shall praise you forever. Let us now pray. Lord, we thank you. We praise you. We adore you. We bless you, Lord. We bow down before you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for all your blessings. Thank you, Lord, for the gift of this life, good health, beautiful creation, wonderful day. Thank you also for this beautiful get-together, fellowship. We are able to remember, we are able to remind your great works you have done in our life. Lord, we thank you for everything. Lord, praying Psalm 45, we come to know that you would send your son, Jesus Christ, once again to establish your rule on this earth at his second coming. Lord, we are all waiting to receive him. Bless us. May we be never tired of waiting for him for his second coming. Lord, as he is about to come, may we be clothed with righteousness. May we be clothed with truthfulness and may we be ready to accept and receive him anytime he comes. Help us to be away from evil. Help us to be away from wrongdoing. May we be never be part of this evil thing. Protect us with your angels. May we be always protected, guided and be led in your path. Bless all your people who watch this program. Bless their homes. Bless their near and dear ones. Bless also the sick people of our families. As we begin the new day, take us ahead. May we spread your love, justice and peace to all those people whom we meet. May we be generous as well to those people who need. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Psalm 45 is a beautiful psalm. Although this is meant for Davidic king's wedding, when applied to our Messiah, the Christ who is to come as the king at his coming, second coming, this becomes more powerful, more wonderful. Yes, let us wait to receive our king. Let us now get ready with our righteousness, good acts, good life, holy life to receive him. Thanks for watching our program, Praying Through Psalms. Kindly keep watching our program on JCQ Creations, both on Facebook page and YouTube channel. May you kindly spread a word about this program with your friends. They could be part of this program as well and benefit. You may also send your prayer concerns to us at Jesus Christ King of Universe 777 at gmail.com. See you next with Psalm 46. Until then, God bless.